So any questions about white residual networks? So with white residual networks, it is one of those papers that you're starting to think about uh, how people usually set their hyperparameters. For instance, how wide their neural network should be, how deep it should be, what should be the microstructure of a neural network, the macrostructure. And you see it's a lot of pain. And each one of these numbers that you see is taking them around at least one or two days to come up with this number. And then the idea before this paper was that you need to go as deep as possible. This paper came along and said, uh, actually, I can achieve the same performance using far fewer layers and wider. And because I can make my neural networks wider, uh, provided that I can fit it, fit it on a GPU, I have enough memory for it, then uh, I can train it in parallel. So there is a question in the chat. So the wide comes into play just because the convolution takes more channels than a basic? Yes. Here by wide, we mean you have more channels going from one layer to the next one. Okay, any other questions? Is there a limit to how fast the channel can grow from one layer to the next? Yes, the limit is usually going to be physical. It's going to be uh, both computational and memory-wise. Do you have enough memory on your GPU to make your neural network wider and wider? But theoretically, there is no limit. If you have enough compute, enough memory, you can grow your channels as much as you want, but then you're going to run into trouble of training them. That's going to end up being a giant model. Is this going to converge or no? Are you using all of the capacity of your model? Yes or no? Then those sorts of questions are going to come into play. Does that answer your question? Okay, perfect. Any other ones?